for the first time there is a chance for an African American or a woman to become President of the United States. Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama, one of them will compete with Republican John McCain. But for the Americans, more than choosing a president, it's time to choose a new beginning. At the American school at Lisbon, they seem ready to change. People are ready to vote for an African American, they're ready for a woman. Um, and what I'm ha especially happy to see is that um, people often, they're not focusing on the fact so much that, that it's an African American or a woman, they're really looking at the policies. I think it's very clear that Americans want change. I'm not sure that all Americans agree on what that change should look like. It's the most diverse election that we've seen, I think, ever. And um, the fact that there's an African American and a woman running for president really shows us how uh, America is ready for this change. Behind stay eight years of the Bush administration, marked by the war in Iraq. After 9-11, he squandered all the goodwill that he had from the international community. And then getting involved in Iraq and Afghanistan and having the American people turn against him has been unfortunate to say the least. I'm not uh, very in favor of the war in Iraq and I think that um, issues that could have been dealt in, with in a different way were not dealt with in the best possible way. However, it is really hard to be a president and I think it's easier to criticize. If the decision depended on the young people who are voting for the first time, Obama would be the winner. He's an intelligent man. He's been in the Senate for a number of years. And, and I think he'd be a strong, he's a strong candidate. He's inspirational and he has some really noble ideals, some ideals that are s sometimes lost in politics under, over technicalities. And I think that those ideals are so important because although maybe they won't all be able to be fulfilled, um, as long as they're in the heart, I think that, that they'll, they'll come up during, during his presidency. The young vote can be decisive when all the candidates are so close in polls. I think the youth vote is going to be huge. I think if you go back to the election of John F. Kennedy, who was considered too young, uh, he was able to rally the youth, and the youth actually tipped the election in his favor. And I think that has a strong possibility of happening here if the youth really come out and vote, which they seem they're going to. At a distance of an ocean, the web, it's the best way to stay update on the race to the White House. I'll certainly be doing more homework also on um, the Internet, researching the backgrounds of all the candidates and making sure I understand their policies. The Internet is definitely going to be uh, my biggest source of information for this election. It's a wonderful thing about the Internet. You can go to just about any paper in the world and find commentary on it. This is a year of decisive elections in the United States. With a less conservative candidate running for the Republicans, it is already for certain that will be a woman or an African-American running for the Democrats. Although they are another continent, these people's votes are also counting. Expresso Multimedia, following the race to the White House at the American School in Lisbon.